Okay, so this is our System 200 monitor, and we're going to just run through the programming menu. That's the easiest way to show you the capabilities of this unit. From the on position, we're going to hold the on off button until we see off on the display. In order to enter the programming menu, I'm going to hold enter until it asks me for a code. I'm going to press light, reset, down, enter. Now we're in the programming, programming menu. This screen's asking me if I want to reset my entry code. If I click the next arrow, it's asking if I want to turn the battery charger on or off. Real-time clock, this unit has a clock within it setting for uh, all of the HACCP data and the records that it can log. Door heater on or off, we have this one off because it's in our training center and it's not a live unit. Alarm high temperature. If the unit gets above this temperature, it's going to enact the alarm. Again, this is not a working unit, so it's 90 degrees. Real case scenario, uh, we'd be probably setting this around 40 degrees. Alarm low, minus 30 degrees. Uh, if it goes lower than that temperature, it's going to sound an alarm. Alarm time delay. Uh, this is how long the alarm condition has to exist before the alarm will actually go off. This prevents a lot of false alarms. A lot of times the probe will be right inside the doorway. If it's a high traffic door, uh, this keeps from uh, triggering alarms when they're not really alarm conditions. Light delay. By a federal mandate, every walk-in has to have a light off delay or some kind of device to turn the light off if no one's in the compartment. We opted for the timer. Uh, this particular symbol is the infinity symbol. So in this mode, it just turns the light on and off. It doesn't turn uh, off after a certain time. But if I were to change that, after 57 minutes, this light will go off. And that is the System 200.